So wait, who are Wanda's parents really? Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Today we aim to look at the answer to this question and more, such as why was Wanda a doll? How did she single-handedly create a zombie army? And where exactly is her son, Tommy, currently? As we count down the top 10 Scarlet Witch moments that made us say WTF, part two. If you missed out on the part one of this list, check it out for even more WTF moments featuring Wanda. Trust us, there is a lot. All right, now let's get counting. Number 10. Wonder Man. As much as it makes sense in the comics that the Scarlet Witch and Wonder Man would end up together given that Vision's brain patterns came from Simon Williams, it's also kind of weird because, well, Vision's brain patterns came from Simon Williams. Which means in essence, Wanda's kind of dating just like the meatbag version of her synthesoid husband. The whole thing too where Wonder Man refuses to allow his brain patterns to be used to restore Vision to his former self after he has become White Vision, while Viz is still married to Wanda, is also pretty bizarre too. As in doing so, Wonder Man has basically damned their marriage to failure because without said brain patterns, Vision can't feel emotions like he used to. And following that crash and burn, Wanda ends up with Simon. Hmm. Number 9. Axis While we've talked a lot about all the weird stuff that has happened to Wanda, we haven't talked as much about all the surprising and confusing moments or events that Wanda has caused. Well, yes I know, I've talked at length about House of M, but when it comes to Wanda's hex magics, there is a lot more mischief that has happened simply because she was trying to do good, such as the events of Axis. Axis is an event where we saw all of our favorite Marvel heroes and villains flip sides with the best heroes becoming super evil and the most vile villains becoming super good. This entire event was actually set off by Wanda, who was trying to help in the fight against Red Onslaught, the undefeatable mishmash of Red Skull with Charles Xavier's powerful telepathic brain, who was unleashed when Magneto attempted to defeat Red Skull by killing him. Scarlet Witch's solution was to use magic to flip the alignment of Red Onslaught, and in so doing, kinda accidentally flip the alignment of a bunch of other important characters. Oops. And friends, before we move on to our number 8 spot, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this list and you want to learn even more about Wanda, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know you like it and it helps us out. Number 8. Reaction to Carol's Pregnancy While Wanda Frank, as she was known then, had one of the most genuinely supportive reactions of the Avengers initially, even her reaction to Carol's very disturbing pregnancy ended up still not being very great. I mean, this whole story in the comics was WTF, but it's really the reactions for me that make it one of the most upsetting. Wanda is the first Avenger to find out about Miss Marvel's condition, and when Carol reveals how distressed she is at the news and even confides her secret identity to her friend Wanda, Scarlet Witch is nothing but supportive. She reassures Carol that her fellow friends and Avengers will support her no matter what, and they'll get to the bottom of this. But once Carol delivers the baby a miraculous day later, Scarlet Witch herself becomes disillusioned by her own desire for children, and all of a sudden flips to being enamored and distracted by the baby as opposed to being at all concerned for Carol, her emotions, her well-being, and what she just went through. Number 7. Her Visit From Hawkeye In a kind of startling turn of events, Wanda ended up being visited by Hawkeye after she had retreated to a community near Wendigore Mountain after the events of House of M. Clint was looking for Wanda and found her. Wanda also did not seem to recognize Clint or have any memory of her her life before living near Wendigore, or at least that's what she was you know, putting out there, instead believing she had lived there with her elderly aunt for most of her life. Surprisingly, she and Clint would connect here in an intimate way. It's also implied that she randomly undressed him and put him to bed after he fainted as a result of the thin mountain air. Which is uh, pretty weird. I feel like if I fainted and I woke up like that, I'd be like, um, what's, why am I in my underwear? What's going on? Of course, later on, this encounter would be somewhat retconned when it was implied that this version of Wanda may have been a Doom bot, which of course makes this whole kind of random turn of events even more bizarre. Because it wasn't Wanda, it was like Doom bot Wanda, so. Weird. Number 6. Made an army of mutant zombies During the events of Empire, Scarlet Witch attempted to make amends for all the pain that she had caused when she uttered those three dire words, no more mutants. This was not so surprising given that Wanda has spent much of her life since then trying to either run from the pain of her past or to make amends for the pain that she has caused or kind of some semblance of both of those things. After being warned by Doctor Strange that nothing could erase the past and instead she would need to focus on the future, Wanda decided to interpret this by trying 
trying to fix a different mutant disaster. She attempted to resurrect the fallen mutants of Genosha, and in so doing, brought a mutant zombie horde to life. Yay! Resulting in the bizarre events of the Empire X Men tie in miniseries, which honestly was one of my favorite, yet also one of the weirdest stories of that whole event. Number five. Where's Tommy? While Billy Kaplan, aka Wiccan, Wanda's reincarnated son, has become a bit of a lead character in the comics, Tommy Shepard, aka Speed, Wanda's other son, and Billy's reincarnated twin brother, has taken more of a backseat. And while Wiccan has been pretty involved in his mother's life, Tommy hasn't really been as present. This leads us to wonder if Wanda actually maybe loves Billy more, and what this could possibly mean for the two twins in the future if they end up becoming prominent characters in the MCU. By the way, I'm most joking about Wanda, you know, loving Billy more because I'm sure she loves both of her sons equally. She's a pretty good mom in that regard, I think. Actually, I would say she's a pretty good mom all around. I don't know. There are probably some people that disagree with me, but like, come fight me in the comments, I guess. Will Billy also take the main stage in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Will Tommy just kind of fades away? Or will Tommy be relegated like he kind of is in the comics to be more of a background character, used here and there, but without as much of a main focus or trajectory of his own? Remember when he also just randomly showed up at Billy's wedding to Hulkling? He was just just kind of there in the background like, hey, I'm here because I'm your brother. Uh, awkward. Also, can we talk about how Tommy and Billy are both mutants still, despite the fact that their mom was retconned as not being one of those? I know mutants can be born, by the way, to non-mutant parents, and that Wanda isn't even in their current incarnation the biological mom for either of them, but still, this is kind of weird, right? Or is it just me? Like, they're both mutants and then Wanda's like, I was never a mutant. I'm like, what? Okay, fine, I guess. Number four, Doll Wanda. Remember that time Wanda was trapped in a doll? Yeah, that was an interesting turn of events that was all part of a plot to defeat Cthon, the god of chaos, who attached himself to Wanda at birth and as such has threatened to possess her fully on more than one occasion. The doll was basically imbued with Wanda's soul and was used as a trap for Cthon, with Wanda eventually moving from the tiny doll back to her own body and Cthon ending up being trapped in the doll. The credit for this weird plan goes to Papa Django Maximoff, Wanda and Pietro's adopted father. Good job, Dad. Number three, Captain America. Remember when Scarlet Witch and Captain America almost dated? No? Well, listen on. These two narrowly avoided ending up in the weirdest, likely most destructive romance to come out of the Avengers team. Following Wonder Man's death, Scarlet Witch ended up coming to her teammate Cap's rescue, and the two had a weird exchange of flirtations. It was strange considering there hadn't been much romantic chemistry between these two before in the past, but they were good friends who had known each other for some time, so many of us shrugged and thought, okay, maybe. And I guess the writers were like, I mean, Scarlet Witch isn't dating anyone right now, Wonder Man's dead, who are we gonna pair her with? But then it got even weirder. Along with a few kisses came some pretty emotional hallucinations or dreams of Steve's and a few awkward conversations where Steve brought up his concern for the age difference between them. In the end, however, Wanda convinced him to give the relationship a chance, only to find out that Wanda didn't remember any of it. Also, in terms of the age difference, I love that Wanda's like, I mean, pretty much everyone in you have like a really weird age difference when you think about it, so yeah. We later learn on that Wanda had no memory of any of these exchanges because she was on the verge of a breakdown, but it didn't make this exchange any less weirder, truth be told. The fact that she forgot it just makes it even more weird. Number two, Vision issue number seven. Tom King and Michael Walsh's issue seven of Vision is pretty much a WTF moment after WTF moment for Wanda's character. It's a heartbreaking issue that charts the history of her and Vision's relationship, marriage, and breakup. This issue also provides some shocking revelations in regards to how exactly Vision attempted to move on with his life after Wanda ended up with Wonder Man. Very shocking. Everything that the Scarlet Witch goes through in the issue and the way both she and Vision are drawn here give you a great sense for just how very much on the edge of madness both of these characters have been at different points in their lives. There is this impending sense of doom that permeates in this issue that makes you feel kind of uncomfortable, but like in the best of ways. Basically, if you want to feel uncomfortable and read like a great WandaVision issue, you need to read it. It's really good. Number one, Janet casually causes Wanda's psychotic break. Also related to Scarlet Witch's psychotic break, we have Janet, aka the Wasp, making an appearance. After Wanda was made to forget about the existence of her children, her mind wiped clean of them by Agatha Harkness for what was believed to be her own good, or at least that's what Agatha said, Janet accidentally brought them up during some downtime while sunbathing with Wanda at the Avengers Mansion, and then tried to 
to play it cool like she had never mentioned them. She was like, huh, what did I say? I have to go to the bathroom, it's fine. The look on Wanda's face as Janet attempts to excuse herself momentarily from the conversation tells you all you need to know about what kind of curiosity turned fury this awoke in the Scarlet Witch. Nice going, Janet. Thank you so much for watching, Nerd Squad. What are some of your favorite weird Wanda moments from the comics or from any of the animated series or live action films or series featuring her? What is your most disliked Wanda retcon? You all know mine. Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I'm your host Amanda McKnight reminding you to stay nerdy YouTube.